welcome back. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today's video is going to be a review on the brand new Maybelline Stick Foundation. It's the Superstay Multi-Use Foundation Stick. So if you want to see me apply this, zoom you in super, super close to see exactly how it lays on the skin, do a wear test and give you my final thoughts on everything, keep on watching. Okay, so I saw this pop up on Ulta and I decided to order it. Um, I really do love stick foundations and I'm always down for trying new from the drugstore, seeing what's good, what's not good, and letting you guys know all the details. So like I said, this is the Superstay Multi-Use Foundation Stick and it's described as a cream to matte formula with a precision blender and it does say it's full coverage, so that is quite a claim that they're making there. It is a kind of a double-ended throwing the cap. <laughs> it's kind of a double-ended component here. We have a sponge on this end, like kind of a black squishy sponge. Doesn't feel like a beauty blender. feels like kind of just a low quality sponge. And then I, on the other side, we have the stick, which looks like a very creamy formula. Yes, very, very creamy formula. Um, hopefully this is a decent color match for me. Again, I chose it from online, so it's always kind of a gamble to figure out what is or is not gonna work for you in terms of undertones and all that good stuff. But again, I do have a little bit of a tan right now, so hopefully this color will be okay. It looks to be a bit cool toned, which I have more of a neutral skin tone. So again, we'll see how it works. Um, hair, what? <sighs> Okay, so basically I am going to apply this to half of my face. I'm gonna blend it in half with the Beauty Blender and half with the sponge that comes with the product. So without further ado, let's just start applying this. And I am gonna zoom you in super, super close once I have half of my face applied with foundation so you guys can see how it lays on the skin. I can tell you right off the bat, it is extremely, extremely creamy. Let's zoom in here. Does remind me a lot of the Mab or not Maybelline, the um, Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation, just with its really really creamy texture. This is not a terrible match for me. Um, the undertone isn't exactly right, but it's not the worst. So I'm just gonna take my damp beauty blender and basically just push that into the skin. Um, I like stick foundations because you can get a ton of coverage. You can really just kind of slap it on, it's quick, and you tend to really get a full and flawless coverage. And with the um, Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick that I mentioned with a similar texture, it goes on really, really creamy, so you think it's gonna make you an oily mess, but once it sets, it really, really sets and it does not budge. So I'm hoping this is gonna be kind of a similar formula. I can say that the blendability is absolutely seamless, it's easy, it's really melding right into the skin with this damp beauty blender, and I'm really liking the coverage. Um, really kind of flawless, your skin but better natural finish, but very, very full coverage, but I'm not feeling cakey at all and it's not feeling heavy at all. So, okay, so that is half of my face applied with the foundation. As you can see, one side is completely perfected. All my discoloration, my freckles, all that stuff is pretty much concealed, but yet I'm left with a really natural, nice sort of, I don't know, it's, it just, it feels really good and I'm really liking the way it looks. So why don't we zoom in now and you guys can see how it looks with my macro lens, how it's really, you know, really up close and personal, how it's looking um, without the foundation versus with the foundation. Then we'll finish off the rest of the face and we'll talk about it. So now that you've seen it up close on the skin, let's go ahead and 
apply this to the other side of the face. I have to say one thing I love about stick foundations, this one included, is just really how quickly you can get an entire face of makeup. I also love that if you buy a slightly darker shade, you can also contour with the foundation. So that's what I do a lot with the Makeup Forever one is I will contour with just a darker version of the foundation and it's like the most natural looking contour and I really like that. So this sponge, it leaves a lot to be desired. First of all, it's really, really small, um, making it quite difficult to blend as quickly as I like to. It's also... And I'm sure you could wet it if you wanted to, which might make it a little bit more kind of emollient, but... This sponge is not very good, guys. Ah, maybe I should cap it so I don't get foundation all over my hand. Yeah, this sponge is a no for me. It's not very squishy. It's tiny. And it makes blending the foundation way more challenging than it has to be. Um, the only thing I could see this being really good for is actually getting right up under the eye, but I don't really typically put foundation under my eye anyways. The pointed tip would make it easy sort of to get into these crevices, so I like that. But aside from that, I will never ever be using this sponge. <laughs> like, no joke. Again, unless it's to quickly buff out some concealer under the eyes or right around that nose area, but... It also just doesn't blend it as well. It doesn't look as natural. It doesn't look as good on the skin using this blender. Um, it's just... Ugh, like it, it just makes it look really not good on the skin. I'm actually going to zoom you guys in again so you can see the side with this built-in blender and just kind of see the difference and how much more it sits on the skin. Um, I like the foundation. I do not like that blender at all. Like, can I even just pull the damn thing out? I wonder if you could literally just pull it out because now it's dirty and gross. Yeah, not a fan of that. But let me zoom you in really quick one more time and then let's talk about this foundation. Maybe I'll set it with some powder and let you know how powder sits on top of it. So let's zoom in. Okay, so as you can see, oh, wrong side. Look how terrible that looks around my nose. I think that's where the Beauty Blender really helps with the blending. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but right around my cheek here, it's just sitting on top of the skin. It's not blending. Whereas the other side, you really don't have that problem. See how much it's sitting on top of the skin there? I'm going to check in with you guys after my 10 hour work day. I mean, from start to finish, I end up wearing the foundation for about 10 hours. So that in that video, I will give you my final, final thoughts on this foundation and how I really feel about it after I've given it a chance to wear and set in my face. Um, but for now, I'm going to apply concealer, powder, blush, bronzer. We're gonna see how that stuff sets on top of the skin, on top of the foundation. And yeah, so let me do all that and then I'll check in with you real quick before the workout. Okay guys, so I applied loose powder, concealer, under eye powder, blush, bronzer, a little bit of contour, highlight, did my brows, the whole nine yards. So after doing all of that, after doing all of that, I'm feeling like this foundation is best suited towards normally to oily skin. I'm a little bit concerned about how this foundation would perform on dry skin um, just because of how it's kind of clinging to certain parts of my skin after I applied the powder. The powder kind of sucks some of the oil out, so 
um, it tends to make your skin look a little bit drier. So I'm just a little concerned about how this would perform on super dry skin. I'm concerned that it would cling to some of your dry patches, but so yeah, let's jump right into the wear test. And after the wear test, I'll give you my final thoughts and I'll give, do my subscriber shout out. Um, yeah. So let's do that right Today's now. subscriber shout out goes to Marlo Keenan. Again, I can't remember if I've given you a shout out before. I'm gonna start keeping track literally today. So I make sure that I don't keep repeating the same shout outs. But thank you girl for all your continued support. I see all your comments. You are literally so amazing and your support means the world to me. Um, if you would like a subscriber shout out, definitely leave a comment on any one of my videos. Better yet, hit the notification bell um, so you get notified for all my uploads and let me know in the comment section that you did and I would love to show you some appreciation. Hey guys, so I'm I'm checking in with you. It has been 10 hours since I applied the Maybelline Superstay Stick Foundation. And overall, I'm having some really mixed thoughts. In terms of oil control, two thumbs up. This foundation controls oil very, very well. I'm comparing it to the other products I've tried recently, and I, I really do feel like I have less shine going on on my face. Um, again, it wasn't as hot today, so you always have to sort of figure in how hot it was and things like that, but I do feel like I wore this uh, foundation Monday and Tuesday, and both days I did feel like my oil was like extra under control, and all I did was set it with a light layer of powder first thing in the morning, no touch-ups. Um, so I feel like oil control, really good. Now, my qualm with this foundation is I don't like the way it sits on certain parts of my face, so it goes on super, super creamy, but the second you start to try and blend it in is when it starts to cling a little bit, especially on my nose. That is where I'm noticing it the most. It's like sitting on top of my pores. I don't know if you guys ever get that where you can like see the foundation on your skin. It's kind of just like perched on top and it really highlights your like pore texture and it's just not a cute look. So I'm not the biggest fan of that. So I, I'm just really concerned about who exactly this foundation will work best for. My feeling is that if you have oily skin without too many like breakouts um, or discol not discoloration, um, if you have oily skin but you don't have a lot of like acne or texture on your skin that this will cling to, I think this is a great foundation for you. Um, for textured skin, for ultra ultra dry skin, for acne prone skin, I just don't think, I'm just not sure this would be the absolute best match for you. Um, so overall, those are my thoughts, guys. I do have one more thing to add. Um, my YouTube buddy, Christy, I will pop in her Instagram link. Um, she did mention something on her Instagram story that I want to point out to you because I feel like I would be remiss to not tell you is there's this much, there's this much product in the foundation. So do with that what you will. It's not an intensely expensive foundation but you know it's like around 13 bucks and you don't get a whole lot i imagine it doesn't take too many swipes to get through this stick so bear that in mind um aside from that guys that is my review thank you guys so so much for stopping by don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like my foundation reviews um definitely say hi in the comments i love reading your guys's comments press the subscribe button if you like my videos and i'll see you in my next one bye